Hey, David Brewster here with a new episode of Brewster's Millions of Rants, and it's a new month. I've got a new haircut, and this is my new guitar. This actually arrived last month in October, I think around October 11th, and I did post a video on Facebook announcing and kind of celebrating the arrival of this guitar, but I was waiting to unveil this, you know, here on YouTube until after Metal Month in October, because I didn't think it was very metal to feature a semi-hollow body, you know, jazz, blues, you know, funk guitar. But here it is. It's a D'Angelico Premier Mini DC. And as you can see, it's actually a smaller size semi-hollow body guitar. I've had my eye on these for a number of years now. I'm going to explain that and kind of talk about it a little bit more. But here's actually a clip of me playing this the day it arrived on October 11th. <laughs> So D'Angelico guitars have actually been on my radar for a number of years now, and there are actually D'Angelico guitars on two of my books that I have published with CenterStream. That's the Guitar Harmony book and also Target Tones. And that's when it started. I was like, hey, those are D'Angelico. And I went to a NAM that year, like down in Nashville, the summer NAM, met the people that D'Angelico played a few of their guitars. And then after that, they unveiled this, which is the Mini DC. And, you know, I was really impressed with their guitars at their booth, but honestly, I don't really like big giant guitars like jumbo acoustics and, you know, 335s and L5s and Lucille's and stuff. Those are massive, huge, like hug a tree type guitars. And that's why I was interested in these smaller size guitars, which like I said, you know, you can definitely tell this is a smaller size semi hollow body. So for kind of a size comparison, here's my Gibson Les Paul, and I'm going to attempt to sit exactly like I'm seated right now so you can see the difference. So here's the Les Paul size, and then here's the D'Angelico, and I tried to position myself the same way. I accidentally bumped my chair when I came back over here, so I screwed that whole thing up. Sorry. But it's similar in size, just a little bit bigger than my Les Paul. And speaking of which, you know, these different sizes of semi-hollow guitars are interesting because since there are big ones and little ones, you can kind of find one that fits your body or that fits your playing style, you know, like this. And here's another image just to remind everybody that normal, like, big-bodied jazz boxes are huge. You know, they're really great guitars. They sound great. They normally play amazing. I've played lots of semi hollow body guitars over the years, Gibsons and Gretches and Guilds and a whole bunch of stuff. But definitely when these hit the streets, you know, I definitely had my sights set on this because it's smaller, way more comfortable, and it feels like one of my electrics. So definitely this is a very comfortable guitar. The smaller size definitely helps, but it's very playable. It's very inspiring. I've been playing this thing like crazy ever since it showed up. Uh, what, Supro pickups? We've got Grover tuners, Graph Tech nut. I probably will upgrade the electronics and possibly the pickups at some point in the future, but honestly, it's rocking like docking right now, so it's like I'm not going to change anything. This is great. And for a little tone test, here's the bridge pickup. Here's the middle pickup. And the neck pickup, of course. So definitely the pickups have a very vintage kind of vibe to them. Uh, the bridge by itself is kind of chirpy and bright, which the bridge pickup is supposed to be that way. Middle position has that nice kind of glassier sound. Definitely the neck pickup is very bassy, which is supposed to be, but it's almost too bassy. You know, really tasteful, uh, 
uh, tones, really playable, uh, very comfortable. I really am knocked out by this guitar for what it is and for what I paid for it, which is around 750. This thing rocks. All right, that's gonna wrap this episode of Brewster's Millions of Rants featuring my new guitar, this D'Angelico Premier Mini DC. Very inspiring, definitely fills kind of a missing piece or picture, you know, here in my studio. I didn't have anything like this, and now I do. And now with the Strat, the Tele, the Les Paul, the Paul Reed Smith, and this D'Angelico, I can cover a lot of guitar, you know, basses and musical basses with these different guitars. And they're all radically different, you know, different scale lengths, they feel different, they sound different, they play different, but that's what I want. I want a room full of guitars that are different. I don't want, you know, a bunch of the same model or the same guitar. It's like, no, I want a, like one of everything if I can, but uh, definitely part of the family and I'm really happy with this guitar. So if you're looking for something like this, like seek these out and try one out. They're great guitars. That's gonna wrap this video, so please leave some feedback and comments, subscribe to Late Night Lessons, and I'll be back before you know with more content and material. Thank you.